Many mistake that their choices in their life have little consequence. The gentleman here, Stuart, is a likely candidate to consider such a notion as true. For what is a simple domestic affair of choosing a book is in fact the beginnings of fate. Our story begins with Jennifer, a young art student. This is when Stuart first meets Jennifer. Hey, she says. Over several weeks, both Stuart and Jennifer run into each other, nameless but cordial. Curiously, as many may note, Stuart became very attached to his book, for more reasons than what the eye would assume. You see, Stuart harboured a secret of sorts. What are you doing over there? What are you writing? I see you regularly scribbling in that book of yours. Surely you can give me a clue. You're so cryptic. Is it your favorite book or something? Jennifer, puzzled by this particular behavior, decided to see what the fuss was all about. This secret was quickly exposed. Stuart was writing love poems in the margins of the book. Stuart also made a terrible blunder. Not only did he leave his all-revealing favourite book, he left not just his business card, but a crisp, excellently crafted moo card, the ones that you can find after trekking the Himalayas on camelback with a swimsuit. I was really struck by the beautiful um, prose in, in the margins. And, and was that you? Did you write that? Hello? Sassy Stuart. How the modern age makes it so easy to dismiss kind sentiments. Jennifer was evidently taken aghast by Stuart's messages, yet she could not deny she had stumbled upon a remarkable gentleman with a remarkable business card. Perhaps Stuart had felt the same shock to his cowardly texts, and in the same way he wrote those spiteful words, he messaged back to Jennifer to express his deepest regret. Indeed, he offered to explain the entire episode with a few drinks at a local pub. Jennifer gladly accepted. In their banter, Jennifer realised that these poems were not just for somebody, but were for her. One can argue that these two lovebirds would have not been able to meet because of Stuart's timid affinity for poetry or the book he chose. In fact, for the small, inconsequential role it had played, the wonder of love began with the wonder of design. A freshly crafted business card. <laughs> 